In this tutorial, we'll see what is Nonier and how to use Nonier for network automation task. And in this documentation, we can see Nonier is an automation framework written in Python. Most of the automation frameworks hide their language. Nonier aims to solve those by providing a pure Python framework. And here we can see one sample script. First, we need to import init nonier then we are initializing a nonier using configuration file later we'll see how to write this configuration file here we need to give host file group file and defaults file and here they are using nonier utils plugin all these plugins we have to install manually Later, I'll show how to install those plugins into PyCharm. And in this task, they are using Napalm get task. And in this documentation, you can see Nornia will provide a common framework to write plugins. We can see the list of plugins here. Later, we'll see how to use Nornia Napalm, Nornia NetMiko, and Nornia Utils. And here they are using Nornia Napalm plugin and the task they are using is Napalm get. And Napalm get we have seen earlier in the Napalm tutorial. And in this particular script, we have seen how to get the device details using Napalm getters. And in this site, we can see all the supported get methods and now we can trigger same get methods from Nornia and then we need to give the getters name and using print result function we are printing the result now let me go to the next page Typically in other configuration languages, it is easy to use in a basic way. Though after a while, when you want to handle advanced features, it can be very hard to troubleshoot once it is started to grow. And Nornia allows you to use pure Python code and you can troubleshoot and debug it in a same way how you do it in a Python code. And as you write Python code in Nornia, you should be somewhat familiar with Python. So here, how much Python do you need to know? Let us go to the next page and the need to know Python. And the skills required are how to set up Python on your system, install virtual environment and understand basics of Python and variables, functions and imports. And installation step is very simple. You can use pip install Nonia. And later I'll show you how to install all the plugins for installing Nonia Napalm. You need to give Nonia hyphen Napalm in the PyCharm settings. And we'll go back to the documentation. And for initializing Nonia, you can give a configuration file and here they have given one sample config file and if you compare it with the config file which I have so this is also having same data and in configuration file we can specify the locations of host file group file and defaults file and in the host file we can add the host details and in the config file I have given us in the same directory I have a folder called inventory and inside that I have host file so when I am initializing if I give this config file this will automatically go and read the host file, groups file and defaults file from 
this directory and in the host file I have added three routers and here I have given a group and if you see the groups file there I have added platform information and in the default I have added username and password it is not mandatory to have these groups and defaults you can add all the data into the host file itself but as your infrastructure grows it is convenient to have these two files else what you can do is you can copy paste the same data into this file and use it later we'll see how to combine all this into a single host file and use it in addition to inventory files you can see a runner here and in this example they are using number of workers 100 that means this can execute parallelly on 100 devices so all the tasks will be executing concurrently on all the devices and in this example also they are initializing Nornir using a config file and config file can be given either using a dictionary data or a separate YAML file so this is if you compare these two data so this is a dictionary representation of same YAML file and either we can create separately or combine both methods in our example we'll be using this particular format data so we'll be using a YAML formatted config file and this is one example host file if you compare it with this host file I have given name host name added a group and data inside data we can give any custom data and if you compare with this file so here they have given host name port username password groups and some additional data and in this example also they are putting this into an inventory directory and each device they have assigned to a group and they are giving some custom data and below we can see one example of groups file and in groups file also they have some data in our case in the groups I have added platform information but here within the host file they are adding platform and below that we can see a defaults file and in our case we are adding username and password into defaults file and here we can see how to access the inventory data and they have given multiple example to filter the inventory data and later we'll see how to create a specific filter and run the task like the napalm git or netmico config now let us go back to the document and here we can see some examples of how to do the filter object with some advanced filtering we'll see all those with some real time examples now let us go back to pycharm and write the python script so here first we'll write a very simple script we can copy the script from this example first we need to import init non here yeah. 
and then here you can see one plugins nornier underscore utils so we have to manually install that go to settings python interpreter first you need to install nornier you need to click on install package then nornier hyphen utils install package and in this example they are using nornier napalm so you need to search for nornier napalm and install the package so you have to manually install all these packages then we can just copy paste the same script and if you want we can make it in single line control shift j and dry run controls whether to apply the changes or not and dry run is not supported in it because in config and all so later we'll see how to enable that and that time we'll be getting an exception when we use the net send config and here we are using napalm get and i have already installed this particular plugin so now to install the plugin we need to execute Nornia hyphen napalm and from there I'm importing napalm get and by default when I'm using the config file here the config file name is config.yaml I'll give config.yaml and let me try running this So here we are getting all the getters here it is trying to get facts and interfaces from all the devices here i'm not applying any filter for the inventory so this is running on all the devices so here it is running on rtr1 its ip is 0 0.61 so this is the facts output and this is the interfaces output and for rtr2 and rtr3 also we are getting the output so this is a basic example of how to run the nornia task in the next tutorial we'll see how to initialize without config file if you are not using config file then host file is the mandatory file you need in the same directory and then we'll see how to print result in a dictionary format here we are using print result function in nornier utils so here we are getting output in the terminal then how to enable logging with different logging level here now this is creating a default log file nornia.log and this is printing info level logs and we'll see how to create a separate log file i hope this video was helpful for you to understand the basics of nornia